fluoride stuff into the water supply. But of course, it's for the children. That's what they said. The doctor said, yes, saving a million dollars would be great, but the cost to our youngest citizens would be higher. They might have a cavity or something. Listen, if you want to take a supplement for your kids, if you want to put something on their teeth, fine. Do you think that it's really safe for your children to mass medicate the public by dumping this into the water? The children are the ones at most risk of getting overexposure to fluoride. And we've had studies over and over again, the Harvard study most recently showing too much fluoride causes a loss of 20 IQ points. They found that in China. 20 IQ points, that's huge. That's a huge difference. That's the difference from a normal intelligence to a moron level intelligence, 20 IQ points. Now, how do you control the amount of fluoride that anyone gets if you're going to dump it into the water? If you think that it's safe and effective, you may be under medicating adults. You may be over medicating children. Should children have the same dosage of any medicine that adults get? Of course not. I mean, it's absolute idiocy, but they can't figure it out because it's not totally black like the water in California. And it's not just that. It's not just the fluoride. But now they're starting a campaign of demonizing people who don't want to get their children vaccinated because of this measles outbreak in Disneyland. And of course, Rob Dew did an extensive report on that the other night on the nightly news. We now see that a doctor who is educating the public on vaccines traveling through uh, Australia, this is a, uh, an article that's up on Infowars.com today, that she's actually getting bomb threats and she's had to cancel the tour. This is Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, who we've had on the show here several times, announced that she has had to cancel speaking appearances that were scheduled for Brisbane, Sydney, Adelaide, Melbourne, and the Gold Coast. The reason was due to pro-vaccine extremists calling for violence and making bomb threats against venue owners and their families in some cities that were originally scheduled for healthy living seminars. See, we can't even talk about this without the extremists threatening people over vaccines. Look at the difference in the way they've reacted to this measles outbreak versus the way they reacted to the Ebola outbreak. They shut down the clinics when they had people come in with measles. They shut them down very quickly. We've got the CDC and all the health officials giving us dire predictions about what's going to happen with measles. I've had measles. I'm not afraid of measles. People my age, all the children were given measles by their parents. Whenever they found a kid down the street had measles, they sent the kids down to, to get it because it's a minor childhood disease. It's more serious if you get it as an adult. But they wanted the kids to have a good immunity against measles, get it when it wasn't going to affect them that much. It's not the same thing as Ebola, but when Ebola was bringing out, they were reluctant to close down places. They didn't take precautions for a couple of days. That's why nurses got sick. And the CDC was constantly going into the public saying, it's nothing to worry about. Believe me, we've got this all under control. You're not hearing that about measles. They are pushing the hype, the panic because they want to sell vaccines. Look at this other story. The Palm Desert High School sends home 66 unvaccinated students. Uh, this is um, because they had one student showed up with a suspected case of measles. She was cleared to return to class on Tuesday. So it's not even clear that to me that she even had measles. And yet we're hearing things from the parents associated with this Disneyland outbreak. We're hearing, uh, uh, there was an article from a, a parent who was in uh, Alaska her daughter had been vaccinated, vaccinated twice for MMR. They went to Disneyland. She came down with measles, and she was absolutely convinced that her child got it from these unvaccinated kids, presumably who were at Disneyland with measles. The vaccine didn't protect her child. There was never a, they never entertained the thought that her child might have gotten measles from the vaccine, that patient zero in this Disneyland outbreak could have been a patient who came down with measles after they got vaccinated. That was never an issue. But she ended with the absurd statement that my daughter got measles after she was vaccinated. That's why everybody needs to get vaccinated. That's like, how can you say that? If the measles were, uh, the vaccines were affected, effective, you wouldn't get measles. And to say that you're going to mandate it on everybody else because it didn't work on your child, absolute insanity. Idiocracy.
Maybe it's the fluoride in the water. We'll be right back with your call. Stay with us. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for five to ten years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. It's very easy to be a criminal. All you need to burglarize a home is one simple household tool, a pair of scissors. If your home security system can be compromised by a criminal using scissors, then you're making it easy for them. Almost every home security system, even those sold by big name companies, has a weakness. The phone line. You shell out 1500 bucks, get locked into a long-term contract, and think you're safe. But a burglar can destroy your alarm in seconds with one snip. And when a burglar cuts your phone line, you you're defenseless. Simply Safe Home Security is the smarter choice. Built by Harvard engineers, Simply Safe uses a wireless connection to call the cops. Scissors can't cut it, and that means your home stays safe. 24/7 professional monitoring is under $15 a month with no contract. Simply Safe Home Security keeps you safer than the other guys for half the cost. Protect your home with the alarm you can trust. Simply Safe. Go to simplysafedefense.com now for an exclusive 10% offer. That's simplysafedefense.com. Usually the older one gets, the less you are able to absorb amino acids and the less you are able to repair the 100 trillion cells of your body. As a result, you'll have less energy, your tissues will shrink, and you'll become wrinkled. An older person will typically injure more easily and heal more slowly. Not fun. However, if you can consume a protein powder that is easier to absorb, then you may be able to gain back some strength, muscle, and speed of recovery. One World Whey is a highly digestible whey protein powder that may be the perfect answer for you. My name is Errol. I'm 74 years old. You know, the taste of One World Whey is amazing. I play pickleball, and since taking One World Whey and your trace mineral supplement, I have more energy and recover faster from my working out. I used to take another grass-fed whey protein powder, but now I'm getting much better results using One World Whey. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325 or visit OneWorldWay.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. This is Thursday, January 29th, 2015. We're going to go to your calls right now. I'm going to kind of open this up to pretty much any subject for the next half hour or so. When Rosa Corey joins us in the next hour, I'm going to talk to her a little bit about, uh, we're going to talk about Agenda 21, about how it is playing out here in Texas and San Francisco. But of course, it is a worldwide issue. It is something that comes from the UN. It's hiding, as she points out in her book, Behind the Green Mask. It's hiding 
behind a mask of sustainability, of environmentalism. It's sold as, now these other aspects, the, the transportation parts, being sold as convenient. Don't worry, you won't have to drive your car in your daily commute each day. And we're not going to have any, uh, you're not going to have any problems finding a parking space because these government-controlled, computer-driven cars are going to do all that for you. But of course, they're going to limit when, where, how you can get around. And uh, we're going to be talking to her about that in the next uh, hour. And I want to take some of your calls in that hour uh, about Agenda 21. If you've seen some of these phony consensus meetings that are uh, being proposed by stakeholders and policymakers, and they would like for you and the community to come meet with them and, and give them your input about this plan, that they already know exactly what they're going to do. They're just trying to use it as a control device. It's something she talks about and exposes in her book. So if you've had an experience like that or want to make comments about Agenda 21, then we'll take your calls in the next hour. Right now, we're going to just kind of open it up for general comments. Let's go to Patrick in Florida. Patrick, you were want to talk about the TSA travel restrictions we were just talking about? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Great. Yeah, I'm uh, escaping the cold from Michigan. I'm down here in Florida, and uh, I went to buy a motorcycle. And uh, we negotiated the price, and we sat down, and we're looking at the paperwork. And there was a $199, you know, admin fee. And I said, you know, what's in that? And the guy said, well, $40 of it is what I have to pay to the TSA to see if you're on the no-fly list. And he said that he had a computer program where you would, you know, enter in my information, come back, yes. Well, you're starting to break up. You had to pay a fee to the TSA to see if you're on a no-fly list before you could get a motorcycle? That's correct. It was it was buried in his administration fee, but he broke down it. He said it was $40 of the $199 that I was going to pay to get the motorcycle that he had to, before he could sell it, see if I was on the no-fly list. So he had a computer program. Yeah. yeah. It, it would say yes or no. And then he said if it flashed red, no that he was instructed to call the sheriff and make up an excuse to detain the individual until such time as the sheriff would get there and arrest him. This is, this is just beyond, this is just beyond belief. The fact that you would have to get the TSA's approval before you can buy a motorcycle. And of course, we know they put a lot of innocent people on the TSA no-fly list. Right after I started here, back in 2012, fall of 2012, we had a guy who was flying on a military plane. His wife was in the military. He was going to meet her in Japan. They stranded him in Hawaii, saying that they discovered once he got to Hawaii that he was on a no-fly list. And guess what? You get to Hawaii, you can't get anywhere if you are on a no-fly list. You can wait around and try to get a slow boat or uh, some something like that to get out of there. But this is also a guy who had been vetted by the TSA's own program to uh, to work as a transportation worker. He had been vetted by them. He had been vetted by the FBI in terms of firearms licenses somehow, and they would never give him an explanation. Of course, they never do. They never say why you're on a TSA list, uh, no-fly list, and they won't take you off of it. But this also illustrates, Patrick, what we've been saying, and that is that the TSA is not about airplanes. It is about total control of your tra travel and your movement. It gets better. Are you ready for the second part? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, what'd they do? Yeah, he said, uh, so we were talking about how I was going to pay for it. And, uh, you know, he was going to put a surcharge if I used a credit card. And, and, and uh, anyways, he said that if, if I paid in cash more than $2,500, that that was also reportable to TSA. And that the 10000 deal is just with the IRS. But there's a $2,500 cash. Reporting requirement with the TSA. Yeah, if you have cash, you're a criminal because that takes you out of their surveillance grid. Anybody that wants to get out of the surveillance grid is automatically a criminal. That's what's really, really dangerous about this. Thank you so much, Patrick. Well, that, that is really amazing. So what he's saying is that he had to pay a fee to the TSA, and they were going to vet to see if he was on the no-fly list before uh, he, could be, he could purchase a motorcycle. And if he was on the no-fly list, they had to stall him so the sheriff could get there. And of course, the TSA wants to know if you're buying anything with $2,500 of cash or less. Is this a free country or have we already descended into tyranny that is beyond what we can believe? And yet most people don't even realize this. I didn't know that the TSA was doing this for people buying vehicles. Stay with us. We're going to be right back with your phone calls. Thank you.
We're on.